Hey everyone, it is I, Jack, and I just finished watching the first Omen. Oh my god, I have thoughts, but, but, they're not bad thoughts, they're good thoughts. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, little backstory. I love the Omen series. I think it's one of the best trilogies. We don't talk about the fourth. We do not talk about the fourth one. But I think it's one of the best trilogies, uh, horror trilogies out there. And I was very concerned, very concerned when I heard, and I heard, like they, it, I, I'm, I guess I was under a rock. I, I have been working a lot. But when they said, oh, there's a, tra a trailer for the first Omen, I first saw it. I mean, Hollywood has proven time and time again that they love to fuck things up. And the trailer kind of didn't, but I was cautious. And I mean, it's, a, it's like, oh, I know what you're doing. You're, you're making a prequel. You're going to connect this to the 1976 original, which is an amazing film. They tried to remake it in, I think, 2009 or something. It didn't work. Good cast, just didn't work. But ah, oh, this, this this had this had uh it had a lot to live up to. So, for me personally, I'm going into this film. I just want to see what are they trying to do. I am very happy with the result. It is suspenseful. It is graphic. It did not shy away from very um, troubling themes. Um, I'm not going to spoil nothing about this movie. In fact, if you've seen it, don't spoil anything in the comments. But, you know, t t tell me if you liked it or not. But there were moments where I'm thinking, are they going there? <gasps> are they going to do that? <laughs> <laughs> you guys probably know the ones who've seen it know what I'm talking about, but it tried, it dared, it it was not your typical horror film, and or your standard to standard horror film of today. I loved it. I loved it. It. it I mean, there are some points, there are some moments where you just go. And there were a couple of things I noticed that were like, I I feel maybe they wanted to do an homage or if anything, a foreshadow to the 76 um, movie, which, eh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll allow it. But after that, it, it there, they started building a world and there is one gripe. I guess you could say the the theme and story of this movie is very similar and I mean very similar to Immaculate I will just say it straight out it is very similar I even I'm wondering who wrote which movie first did they share did someone kind of work on one project then jump to the other they're very similar in to in a in a certain plot point but in terms of okay well this is a omen movie it's the beginning of the omen series technically um you've got to build something we got to build a reason why this movie exists and i feel they pulled it off i feel that um the idea of The idea of the church, I'll just say that. The idea of the church, I believe, worked. Um, as someone who grew up religious and no longer, but I'll say this, my favorite fucking book of the Bible was always Revelations. Why? Because it was always exciting. And you really didn't have that many begots. This person begot that person. You know, the Simpsons joke. But the point is this. I read the book of Revelations. That's why I actually love um 
the Omen series because a lot of little things that were mentioned in the Book of Revelations are mentioned in a more dramatic way in the Omen. So, uh, to me, that's that's my favorite book. But the point is this: so the idea that there's a church, a um, alternate church, you can say. I mean, okay, I'll go with it. They're explaining enough reasoning as to why. So, okay, I'll go with it. But what sells it really is Nell Tiger Free, who plays Margaret. She is amazing in this movie. You, she comes off as innocent until tragedy. And there are moments, there's one specific moment in this film where she had to transform, I'll say. And you kind of get worried how they're going to do that moment, you know. We have several types of several types of genres out here. We have zombie genres, we have, you know, vampire genres, we have this genre, that genre. So how is what do you do at this point, you know? But I felt she did it very effectively to the point where I started worrying about her a little bit. But that's the point. That's that's the point of acting. It's to get you concerned with the person, the character, to the point where like, what's happening to you? And this works. It It's a great movie. Great entry to the Omen there was one thing, and I told my friend about this. Before I, he went to see it in the theaters, I did not. Like I said, I just saw it. Um, there's, in the story of the Omen, the Omen storyline, there's one thing, one thing I wanted them to not change. And I'm happy they didn't. My friend will know. My friend will know what I mean. And maybe some of you will know what I mean, because it's canon. It's canon to the origin of the fucking character. And I mean Damien. And I'm happy that stayed. I'll just, I'll just say that. So, my thoughts as, this, as I ramble through this, because I'm just, I'm happy. It was a great, great movie. Was it... A 10 out of 10? No. It's not a 10 out of 10 film. Is it a 9? Almost. I give it personally an 8 out of 10 based on certain things. Like I said, it's very similar to Immaculate. There are a couple of other little things like um, character-wise, you know, just... It's like, mm, okay. But other than that, I think it was fantastic. The, it, it, it kept me invested. There were moments where the gore was great. The, the, the moments of... Oh, what's the word? Um, <laughs> there's, there's just moments where it makes you feel like... Uh, you know, icky and whatnot. They, they, they were great. <laughs> but... What I really appreciate about this this film is that they really went for it. They tr they re I feel there's a unrated cut somewhere, and I I doubt it's gonna be on the Blu-ray. There's no 4K for this, so unfortunately I I we're not gonna get an unrated cut. But I would imagine there are extra scenes where they push the envelope a little far. Because there are some things that make you cringe and they give you goosebumps for kind of wrong reasons. But this movie really went for it and I'm happy for it. So I cannot highly, I cannot tell you not to watch it. I, I highly recommend this. I highly recommend this movie. So that's my rambling. What did you all think? How did you like the connection to the original? Um, I truly, I'll say this, as great as um, Nail Tiger Free was, and oh my God, um, 
uh, Ralph, uh, I'm going to mess up his name, Ralph Ennison, who's, I think he just got, got um, the role for Galactus, the voice, who's also, I believe, in The Witch. Um, he's such a great character. He's such a great character. But the point is this. I, I'm okay with this being it. You don't need to further the story because we know the story. Because this leads into Damien's story. Now, I mean, again, if you've read the Bible, if you've read specifically the book of Revelations, you know there's only one. There's only Damien, really, or the one Antichrist. So if they want to try to go a different route, I don't know how effective that'll be. So leave it here. This was fantastic. I'm happy. <laughs> let's leave it there. <laughs> let's not let's not let's not mess anything up anymore. You added a great chapter to the Omen saga now. It's a saga. So, anyways, though, that's me. Again, rambling. What did you guys think? Like, subscribe, uh, the bell icon, do all those things. Um, share, but yeah. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. And let's discuss. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.